everybody Anne here just sitting here on my porch drinking coffee with all of you and I wanted to ask you a question some people have said that uh, my voice is too low is it too low when I'm like off in the distance using a tripod or can you hear me speaking okay right now just let me know I don't have a microphone or anything and I don't want to shout I mean I'm just not gonna shout so, anyway, let me know. Okay, so what's going on for today? Well, screen door, solar, chicken coop. <laughs> There's the screen door. I got it up. It does close, but it is crooked. And really, you know what, guys? I just don't have the talent for this. It seems like it should be easy. I mean, I even measured. I marked little things with a pen. And it just, you know what, I'm just not any good at it, so I'm going to ask for some help. But it looks perfect. It looks great. Um, I just really, this this side is going, there's going to have to be a little bit that's going to be cut off. It needs to be cut off and make it smaller so it can fit in that door better. Um, these Dirks and Cabins are, they say it's a standard a 36 by 80 door but um, I actually think it's um, a 35 by 80 door so I need about a well really about a inch cut off for it to be able to fit properly and I don't have the tools to do that but for now this is going to be just fine it looks great and it lets me keep the door inside door open and get some nice fresh airflow in there so I love it and here's what it looks like with the inside door closed. It's perfect. It is just absolutely perfect. So thank you so much, wonderful anonymous person for my screen door. It is absolutely the perfect door. I love it. I've moved the coop over here. Now I've just gone ahead and covered it all up with that tarp just to see what it was, would be like. Um, and then especially when it rains, uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep it like that, but I moved it over here because I want to see my chickens. Now, it's about 15 feet away from the house, um, so I think it'll be okay. I mean, if there's any odors, if I, I think if I keep the pen nice and clean, that there won't be any odors. I just have to take really good care of my chickens. Um, but I'm gonna put it here. This, this is where it's gonna be, so if there's any kind of predator coming by, this light that is on that window over there it will alert if something is this far away and I'm I don't know 20 30 feet away maybe from the house um, so that motion detector light is gonna come on so if something's coming on and if I hear the chicken squawking um, and going crazy sound in distress then all I need to do is look out my window I'll come get I'll come with my machete so uh, it's my plan today to finish up this chicken coop I gotta put the part on that goes here I have to put the little bolty things that connects those two together. I have to modify the end of this. I have to, I don't think I have enough stakes um, to stake this down. It comes with a few stakes, like right here. You push that down into the ground, but that's only on the ends. I want to put stakes all the way around. This one, I want to connect this one to that one with some sturdier wire and put stakes all around this so that nothing, well, I don't think anything could knock this over, but, and I don't really think that once this is all finished that they're going to be able to knock this over either. Um, but you know what? It pays to be safe, so that's what I'm going to do. So the chicken coop is out here and... I'm just going to love sitting on my porch. Well, I won't really be able to see it unless I hang over my porch. But looking out here, seeing my little chickens, and what I'd actually like to do is get another one of these yards and just hook it up side by side. Um, I would probably add it to that side over here. So I would have plenty of room. So anyhow, yeah, just let me know what you think about, you know, covering this whole side with a tarp and leaving this all open. Um, but this is where the coop's gonna be. I just want it closer to me. I wanna be able to see them. I wanna be able to hear them. And uh, so yeah, cool. As far as the solar is concerned, these are my two new solar panels. They have different connectors and silly me did not buy the right connectors, but look how 
awesome they look. So um, I need two adapters. I need two connectors and then two. Well, I'll show you what they are in a second. Um, and then that's my new battery. It's 100 amp hour um, sealed AGM battery, deep cycle. And this, I need to open this for you guys. I got another Prezi. I don't know what it is, but it was delivered late yesterday. So I'm going to open that up and check it out. Oh, and let me show you the new charge controller I got. My solar area is just a disaster. I'm using this little inverter right now just because I don't need anything more than that. I've got a 2000 watt inverter, but it's kind of toast. The fan quit working. So this is supposed to be an MPP, MPPT solar uh, charge controller. It was only like 28 bucks. So I went ahead and got it. It's supposed to be more efficient than the old one that I have. And if you followed my channel for a while, you'll know that, boy, look at that, that's dirty. Uh, these no longer work. This no longer works. And it's just kind of whatever. So this is all that I have been able to charge my batteries to, 11.4, 11.5. If I'm lucky, I can get it to 11.9, which is basically your, your batteries are toast, you know, seriously. But it is charging, and all I'm getting right now, let's see, uh, 1.9 amps. So, you know what, I'm not doing so great. So I'm going to see at least if I can get that other battery connected to this, take my old batteries out, and just see what happens. My prior solar panel, or my current actually, is the Harbor Freight setup, and it has served me well, but it's time to move on. So the top connectors are the MC4 connectors that are used to connect two or more solar panels together, and I'm going to do them in parallel, and it gives me the option to add one more solar panel, so that's great because I plan to get one more solar panel to have a total of 300 watts. And then the bottom connector cable thingy is what you use to go into the connector and then into your charge controller so that you can charge your batteries. So this is what I need. I'm going to get them very soon and I cannot wait to get this new solar setup set up and completed. Hopefully it works better than the one I had. The only thing is, is these are monocrystalline solar panels so they're going to be a little bit different than the amorphous solar panels. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see how they operate in like shady type situations. There's the big battery. It is huge, and I do have enough room in here for one more that I'll be getting eventually. So the larger gauge wires, I don't need that much gauge, I mean, really, but it's what I've got for now, so it's what I'm going to use. So the big ones go to the inverter, and these little clampy ones go to the uh, charge controller. Yeah, the charge controller. And um, once I get the new panel set up, there's going to be some different connectors here. So... Well, let's close this up, and first of all, let's see if, oh, I guess I got my flashlight on. Um, let's see if this little inverter boots up. It does. It absolutely does. Let's see how much it's registering. <gasps> 13, and this battery isn't even charged all the way. Okay, so let's get, let me grab it. And there is the new charge controller. This battery isn't even fully charged. Well, it says it's fully charged, but it's still going to be charging. And it is working everything. I hooked it up right. So, yay, I did it. Look at that. It is charging. I've only had it hooked up like two minutes. And we've already got a 0.1 in progress. Yay. I'm so proud of myself. And now for the moment, at least I've been waiting for, I'm going to open up this package. And I don't know what it is. Um, I've been told I've, I'm getting some stuff, but um, it's not supposed to come till next week or like the first week of June. So let's open this up and see what it is. I'm getting good with this little knife. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Look! Oh, you're not going to be able to see it. All right, here, let's see if I can just get it out this way. Oh, oh. Let's don't let anything fall all over the place. This was on my wish list. Whoops! Hold on. A fire extinguisher. 
this is a good thing for me to have, definitely. Let me get it all out. I hope what I dropped wasn't a, I think that was just a mounting thing. Um, yeah, I think that just mounts, mounts it. Um, whoa, check it out, man. Okay. I gotta be careful, I don't wanna drop this. Okay. Here it is, guys. I got me a fire extinguisher so that I won't burn this place down when I'm cooking something <laughs> or that my hopefully my solar won't explode but you know what if I've got problems I'm gonna be able to use it now and it is it's full the gauge the little gauge thingy says that it's full and I just need to figure out how to operate this. What I need to figure out is how not to discharge it when I don't want to discharge it because you know what, I'm the kind of person that would do that. So before I touch anything, I am going to read the instructions and let me see if there's a note for who sent it to me. Um, instructions, yep, don't wanna lose those. Is there a note? There's no note. No, I don't know who it's from. Huh. Well, this is a surprise. This is amazing. Whoever you are, thank you so much. You know how important it is that I have one of these, especially if I'm going to be bringing a wood stove inside. Absolutely, it is important to have. So um, I'm going to find a safe place to put this. I'm going to learn how to use it so that I don't discharge it the wrong way. And... Thank you so much. Thank you so very much. Well, this video has gotten long. I don't know. It's probably like 15 minutes or something. Who knows? So I'm going to cut this here, and we'll do the rest of the stuff tomorrow. And that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. I love you guys. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.